Last example, what is the square root of 61? The square root of 64 is 8, so I think it's almost 8. I think it's 7.9. Let's divide 7.9 into 61. 7.9 into 61, 7 times. 7 times 7, 49. 7 times 9, 63. 7.9 into 57, 7 times. 7 times 7, 49. 7 times 9, 63. 7.9 into 17, twice. 2 times 7 is 14. 2 times 9 is 18. I'm going to stop there. My first try, I only want the first two decimals. So I'll round this 2 down and take this as my quotient. The quotient plus the estimate. 15.9. And we take half of that, half of 1 is 0, half of 15 is 7, and half of 16 is 8. Now we have a better estimate, 7.8, but I'm going to improve that by taking these three steps. Let's divide 7.8 into 61. 7.8 into 61, 7 times. 7 times 7, 49. 7 times 8, 56. 7.8 into 64, 8 times. 8 times 7, 56. 8 times 8, 64. 7.8 into 16, twice. 2 times 7, 14. 2 times 8, 16. 7.8 into 40, mm, 5 times. 5 times 7 is 35, and 5 times 8 is 40. 7.8 into 10 once. And I'll stop there. This should be enough to get our ne next estimate. Let's add our quotient to our estimate, 7.8. 7.8. Take half of this, half of 1 is 0, half of 15 is 7, half of 16 is 8, half of 2, 1, half of 5, 2, half of 11, 5, half of 10, 5. This is our second try, so I only need four decimals. 7, 8, 1. I'm going to round this down. Now we have an even better estimate, but we're going to improve that as well by taking these steps. Let's divide 7.81 into 61. 7.81 into 61, 7 times. 7 times 7, 49. 7 times 8, 56. 7 times 1, 7. 7.8 into 63, 8 times. 8 times 7, 56. 8 times 8, 64. And 8 times 1, 8. 7 into 8, once. 1 times 7, 1 times 8, 1 times 1. 7.8 into 39, hmm, close, I think only 4 times, 4 times 7, 28, 4 times 8, 32, and 4 times 1, 4, 7.8 into 77, 9 times. 9 times 7, 63. 9 times 8, 72. 9 times 1, 9. Into 73, 9 times. 
9 times 7, 63. 9 times 8, 72. 9 times 1 is 9. Into 28, 3 times. 3 times 7, 21. 3 times 8, 24. 3 times 1, 3. Let's take one more decimal. 7.8 into 46, 6 times. 6 times 7, 42. 6 times 8, 48. You can see this is 47, but I think, I think we're close enough. So I'm going to take zero everything else off and take this as my quotient. Now we add our estimate to the quotient. 7, 8, 1. And take half of this. Half of 1, 0. Half of 15, 7. Half of 16, 8. Half of 2, 1. Half of 4, 2. Half of 9, 4. Half of 19, 9. Half of 13, 6. Half of 16, 8. So our estimate, 7.8102-4968. The calculator answer is 7.8102-49676. So you can see this very last decimal point is good. We would have rounded that 6 up to get 8, right? We would have rounded this to get 8. So you can see it's not perfect, but it is very, very good. So try these both. Try the way I showed you before and try this a few times. And the next thing we do, we'll do something similar to this. So it's good to be able to do these pretty easily. Uh, nice work, everybody. Thank you.